Steven Stern is an almost 70-year-old carnivore who has been on a zero-carb slash carnivore diet since May and has really enjoyed the journey. Professionally, he's been a chiropractor for 35 years. Also, since 2015, he's been a certified trainer for GMB and provides online fitness coaching as well as one-to-one bodyweight-based training at his office. Steven has an interesting backstory with a relationship with food from eating disorders to vegan and vegetarian diets to low fat to paleo keto and now carnivore he has a passion for being fit and strong at any age and shows that it's never too late to find your optimal health welcome to the show Stephen. hi uh thanks for having me scott appreciate it of course um so let's let's rewind the clock your your interest in fitness and nutrition where where did it begin well that's a long story. Actually, my interest in fitness and uh, nutrition began when I was about 19, 20. But to back up from there, I grew up in the 50s, um, you know, typical household, you know, standard American diet, sad diet. I remember having, uh, you know, cereal and having a big bowl of sugar right on the table and putting, heaping tablespoons in my cereal and you know, eating a lot of, uh, a lot of crummy food, you know, and looking back, uh, my parents weren't all that conscious about food and nutrition. And I was always uh, chunky as a child, always carrying extra weight and didn't like my body. I, I remember bending down and splitting the seams in my pants. Uh, you know, I wasn't obese, but I was what they call chunky, you know, carrying, a, you know, 20, 30 extra pounds. And, and uh, when I turned, uh, about 1819, I was with a friend and um, he was into macrobiotics. And I started doing that and I lost weight for the first time in my life. And I remember um, going to a party and and uh, people were you know giving me compliments. Gee, you look so good. And I just lost about 15, 20 pounds. And, and something clicked in my mind then uh, getting thin was good. The people will like me if I'm thinner. And I took it to a level that was very unhealthy at the time. I became orthorexic and, 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 uh, had some eating disorders and body dysmorphia. So when I was around 18, 19, that's when I started getting involved in nutrition, started looking at diet and health in in a different way. Um, I was uh, in my heaviest, about 200 pounds at five foot eight. And I, uh, when I started losing weight, I started getting in, reading about Paul Bragg, old time health enthusiast. You know, I followed Jack Lane, Adele Davis, a lot of people at that time who were who were popular. And um, I just started changing the way I ate from high, you know, from uh, standard American to I just took out all my bread and all, all my desserts. Started losing more weight. And started getting more involved in that where eventually I became uh, very orthorexic and and I was so extreme I became a fruitinarian. I went from 200 pounds in December of, of, uh, of um, 1969 to 105 pounds seven months later in June of uh, 1970 and gained back 100 over 100 pounds I went to 215 pounds seven months later. So in a span of about 14 months, I, I lost and gained about 100 pounds. So that's where my beginnings began about getting interested in food and health. So 